Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752 and this your daily go get number 813 for December 24th, Christmas Eve, 2016. All right. Tonight I want to talk to y'all about being mad at God. Being mad at God. Is there such a thing? Can you do that? Tell the truth. You ain't never been mad at God before? Never. I know like some of, some of us are afraid to ever be mad at God, you know, because... We believe that, you know, there's still people who believe that things that they say will get them struck down by lightning. But so far, nobody's ever been struck down by lightning. Now, first of all, in this video, what I'm going to be talking about, I'm, I'm not trying to be blasphemous or anything like that. When I say mad at God, what we're really talking about is disappointment. You know, how you feel when you have done all of the right things, when you feel like you've done all of the right things, you're living your life correctly. You know, uh, you're a good person and it seems like you can't catch a break or when things are going right or they're going in the right direction and all of a sudden things derail out of nowhere and, and something just just ruins the whole thing. And you may you may look to the heavens man, and be asking yourself, God, why me? Like, why? How come? Like, you know, I, I did everything you asked me to do. Everything that two people told me that was right and righteous, I did. So why did you have to take somebody away from me? A lot of times it happens when we lose a loved one. You know, I lost two family members this past week. You know, luckily I understand. I overstand. I really do. Um, I hate it. I hate it when people in my life pass away. I hate it when relationships break up. I hate it when I have to separate from people that I care about. I hate it when I can't be there for the people that, that I care about. I hate when there's a lot of tension and uh, disagreement amongst my loved ones. I hate it when I have to choose sides. I hate all of those things. But I understand that it's the natural order of things. And, and we have to accept life as it comes. You know, in other videos before we've talked about karma... We've talked about why good things seem to happen to bad people and bad things seem to happen to good people. We've talked about depression and stress and the importance of eliminating those things from our lives before we become physically ill. We've talked about we've talked about a lot of things in these videos and on the shows that deal with our lives. But sometimes we need more. We need more clarity. We need more answers. And sometimes we don't feel like we can get the answers that we're seeking. It doesn't mean that we need to stop looking because the truth is out there somewhere. We just have to be available to be able to find it and to be able to process it right. So being mad at God, you know, through death you lose a loved one. you mad at God. you asking, why Why'd you have to take them? You know, that's the one thing that loved me and the one thing that I love there's the, it's the one thing that supported me it's, the, it's all I had in life why would you take that away from me? sometimes we feel that way and we be a little mad at God be a little mad at him like you ain't have to do that there's another way you could have taught me a lesson or showed me something you ain't have to do that but we have to understand we have to understand that it's all in, in, in the plan. And we don't always know what the plan is. It's just like it's just like when a lot of people thought that Hillary Clinton was going to win the presidential election and Donald uh, um, Trump just slumped her in the election. And a lot of people are asking why? Why? Why would you let somebody like that win? But it's the natural order of things in some kind of way. Now, I just want to take a couple of seconds to talk about the truth. Because on the radio show this morning, one of the things that I was saying was that there's truth in everything that we ever learn. There's truth. And truth is, is, is more and bigger than just what has happened. Let me repeat that. Let me, let me get some clarity on that. The truth is more than just somebody's version of events of what happened. So even though they may correctly and accurately 
tell what happened in an incident. It could be a car accident. Now, rock with me for a minute, y'all, because this is kind of deep. And not everybody's going to accept this, and that's totally overstandable. But just, just hear me out for a second. Let's take like a, a car accident. And you know how you have witnesses to a car accident. So somebody saw exactly what happened. From the since, I mean, from before the accident happened, they saw that one person was waiting at the red light and the other person, um, no, I'm sorry, one person was proceeding through the green light and one person ran the red light and the person who ran the red light struck the person that, that went through the green light. So it's the person who ran the red light's fault. That's the truth. And that's what happened. That is the truth about what happened. But there's deeper truth inside of what happened. Maybe the person ran the red light because they were on their cell phone or because they were dealing with something that was going on in their, in their mind that day or because they were distracted by something or because, because they have um, vision problems. So, you know, maybe they're colorblind and they thought that the, 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 the red was green. There could be a, a whole lot of other things. There could be even deeper meanings or deeper truths inside of, 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 that, of their meeting through that accident. Maybe they were, the two um, parties that were involved in that accident were meant to come together for some reason. Maybe they were meant to swap um, um, addresses for some reason. Maybe they needed to swap addresses and, and information so that later on down the line, they came together for something great. But that was the only way that they were going to meet because they didn't know each other and they didn't have any mutual friends. You never know. There is a greater truth inside of just what happened. And so when tragic things happen to us, when bad things happen to us, when we have been really struggling to stay on a straight and narrow path and we've been doing it, and it seems like that's when the hammer comes down on us, and knocks us upside our head. Knocks the wind out of our sails. Give us, gives us a, a, a head ringer so bad it's concussion like. But we have to find out what the truth is. In that tragedy. The truth in that tragedy. Just like it's hard to tr find truth in victory. If you notice, it's hard to find truth in the victory. In victories. Because we, we're just so euphoric. Like, yo, all I know is I won. You know, that's why people gamble a lot. Because they like that feeling of winning, that euphoric feeling, like, ugh. But they find, they, they're looking for the truth. They're looking for truth. And, like, what makes me want to win so bad? Because the same mental and hormonal processes go in gambling as heroin or cocaine or, or alcohol. Same thing. Same process. Don't be mad at God. Don't be mad at God, y'all. Try to find out why God puts us in the positions that we get put in. Try to find out why God makes things happen that are beyond our realm of overstanding. Try to find out. Try to be patient. Try not to get too discouraged. And hopefully, hopefully, if we can be patient, if we can be overstanding and we can use our reasoning, maybe the truth will come to us at some point because the truth is there. It's just our job to try to find it. But it's there. It's there. Um, there was one thing. There was one, one more thing that I wanted to tell y'all. Um, and I'm getting a brain freeze on it right now. But um, like I said, that the truth is bigger than just what happened. You know what I mean? Oh, the truth is inside of what, what happened. What happened is like the hardware. It's the cosmetic part. It looks like what it looks like. But think about it. When you find out the truth about things, you find out why it happened. Think about that. When you find out the truth about things, 
the truth is always why it happened, not just what happened, but you find out why it happened. So you find out somebody killed somebody, somebody hurt somebody, and you say, all I know is he punched that old man in his face, and he's dead wrong for that. Later on in trial, you find out that that old man had been abusing him for years or had molested someone that he loves or something like that. Shout out to all my elderly because I'm not advocating in any way violence towards my elderly. But well, all I'm saying is that the truth is on the inside, not on the outside. So when things happen, don't get mad at that. Don't get mad at God for that. Try to find out the deeper meaning. The truth that's on the inside of whatever happened. And we'll probably be, probably be better men and women for that. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember the truth. The truth is in the meaning. The reasoning. The truth is why something something happens, not just what happens. Try not to get too discouraged, frustrated, angry, and disappointed about the things that happen to you in your life. Because nature works in balance. It works to balance everything out. So somebody has to live, somebody has to die. Somebody has to be born and somebody has to pass away. It's going to be all right. That's all I know. It's going to be all right, man. Don't we'll be mad at God for that. So it all feels, uh, fits in the plan. It all fits in the plan. It's going to work out. <clears throat> Things are going to work out. Just hold on. Just hold on. We're going to be all right. The Daily Go Get Amism shows every single day. 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's right, 6 a.m. 3 a.m. on the West Coast. Eastern Standard Time, 6 a.m. Call the numbers 319-527-6199. Blogtalkradio.com forward slash sun 752. Peace. I'll holler at y'all later.